Hello fans and subscribers and viewers, what's up? I actually had to take an important phone call about my car and, well, and we're back. Right now you'll be noticing that I'm not on the Nephilim difficulty. This appears to indicate to me that you can switch between difficulties per level. In Devil May Cry 3 and 4, you had to go straight from one to another in a different mode in order to ascend to the end, so you could play it anytime. It just seems like here, you do not have to, like, you do not have to uh, go through one difficulty alone in order to get access to different missions. You can change your level of how hard the enemies are without having finished any of them. You know, you can swap in anytime you like. Uh, and since this is the last uh, mission here, we're going to get some thing at the shop. We're going to get some items and some upgrades. We don't have 10,000 enough for health, or uh, double trigger, I mean, but we have to make the best of what we have. And we only have four upgrades. Um, you know what? I'll let you pick this, X-Squad. Go ahead. Tell me which ones you want. Hmm. I, if there's actually enemies in this one, but I doubt it, I would have chosen the evades, but really not. I'd say... The best items would be your chain hits right now. Chain. One chain hit on each weapon so far. Besides, uh, Rebellion. Mm. Well, I guess I could go for a level 2 charge. Snake Eye, right, right, the counter. Oh, that yeah. one, that one caused a problem so many times. It, it has, it has. Uh, I guess, I guess what's more important is my main sword, because I really want to, yeah. Rebellion, can... the air, the air attacks, you need that one. Osiris does almost zero damage. It almost, it pretty much does nothing, in my opinion. Uh... Like the Osiris. Arquila, that's actually one of the ones I was going to tell you. Skirmish level two. Yeah, well, you Skirmish, know. and any one that's in the air would be a good, a good one to have now. Actually, you know what? Let's go for skirmish. Yeah, skirmish. Yeah, that that one. All right, and we are nearly done. Uh, let's go for the abilities now. Yeah, the abilities. Everything is fine. Let's just get some items, and we'll be on our way. Uh, I should just mention to you guys. If you're wondering what happened at the very end, what what combos we used. Turns out, when you're fighting the arms for Mundus in the last level, use the Arbiter to... It does the most damage. And after you destroy the arms and you're back to the head, it's best to use the Aquila because the Osiris does virtually zero damage when you're using it. Mm -hmm. If you notice during the gameplay footage. Alright, tip. Destroying all lost souls, collecting all keys, and opening all secret doors permanently awards a triple S completion rank for that mission. You see... You don't need to care about style or time. No, not important. Ah, and we're near the end, so thank the world. And I know what's coming next, alright? But I'm gonna let you see it for yourselves. If you haven't watched the leaks already. Either he's corrupted by Mundus or what? I don't know. What's happening? Limbo has collapsed into the real world. What was once hidden is now laid bare. Who is corrupted? We'll find out. Is in the air. I never believed I'd live to see this day. It's the beginning of the end for the demons. Mankind will be free. And Dante didn't even yes. get processed to go to cr uh, court to face a judge after being arrested. It's clear for us to rule. What did you just say? The path is clear for us to rule. To rule what? This. Everything. Virgil. You mean like Mundus? No. No. We'll be nothing like Mundus. We'll respect our subjects, not enslave them. Subjects? He means you. He means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. You know, I'd be more convinced by this if they had small lab. clips of flashback. Twenty times over, if it weren't for her. Listen, if you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't I mean, want the responsibility you see a theme to this, of protecting right? them, then stand aside. 
I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Mana so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this for And yes, I'd like to uh, declare okay, that Mundus in this world is dead. All the Devil May Cry 1, which has nothing to do with this canon, Mundus is simply sealed away. But that's a different story for a different time. Wow, look at his face. It's like, it, do you see the twin? Like, do you see the the same exact facial structure? Same exact facial structure, different height, difference. Yeah, because because uh, Dante. But if you actually notice yeah. that Vir Virgil's supposed to be more angelic, but he's more demonic in nature. Well, Dante is more angelic in nature, but demonic in appearance. Yeah, I mean, there is a juxtaposition between these two. I mean, is this supposed to symbolize that Dante is the little brother? Because he was in DMC3. Now, let's see. This will be the first fight I ever have with Virgil in which he doesn't use a second sword. Let's see if he's just as powerful. Let's see if he's OP. Okay, so are they in limbo? Or is this wind just... Like, air that's no longer invisible. No longer invisible. With the last episode, everything's visible. Limbo, everything. There could just be, like, Heavenly Sword in that boss fight where there's, like, a white barrier around Mariko and her antagonist. Actually, you know what? I do know that trick. I, didn't, I know how to get past it. Yep, it even works here, so they have retained that, using Helmbreaker against his seeming force edge throw. But they removed his sword and most of... Oh, they removed a lot of his abilities. Just walking around, he still does that. Teleportation. Okay, the problem I have with this right now, if I were to have a style from this game... Okay, I couldn't dodge, and I couldn't jump out of there. I was stuck in that death coil animation. Let's see if I can combo my way. Right. Nope, you uh, can't. I, I think Osiris would be the better weapon of choice. Okay. That was because of the second, uh, the second hit. I mean, the second combo. It looks like Rebellion's your best weapon to get in during this fight. Really? It's the only weapon that works. Okay, look, notice how I'm trying to move my style upward. If I'm trying to get more than one letter grade up. This little scripted cutscene here is really interfering with that. I prefer to fight Virgil as though there's no end unless I knock him down to one, one HP. To one minuscule health point. Oh, that's just bad. Oh, they decided to give him thunder and lightning. For dramatic effect. I'm yeah. supposed to take him seriously. Yeah, but seriously, they're doing a bad job of rendering Virgil. They nerfed him. They still nerfed him. I mean, I'm not going to accuse the difficulty of being the, uh, the tantamount part of the problem. Oh, what the he You're firing one sword at a time? Yep. Come on! You know that. You could, you could use a sword storm around me and fire them like... One a rapid a rapid projectile one after another. Looks like when he dashes, you can't land behind him. What? What are you doing, game? Oh, again another little castle. They changed the abilities, really. Again. Scripted cutscene here, making a difference in whether or not I can move my style rank upward. Yes, it is. Okay, that is cool. That is cool. I will give them that. Teleport behind an enemy. Oh. Uh. Okay, I think there is a oh. certain degree of lock. No. Yes, there is. Holy or it could just be the moving camera, yeah. Because I I keep thinking that there's lock on in this game. Like, if I take a if I take up a stance, but it doesn't seem to be. What's he doing? Using a Charging. judgment cut. Ooh. But his judgment cut is really limited. 
Well, it's Dante's from DMC4, that's how I can tell. I can throw that back at him, if anything. Use the Osiris, you knock them all back at once. I only knocked one. Is he charging his rap? No, Judgment Cut again. Whenever he stays there, it's Judgment Cut. Right, if I move behind him, like, it, they retain that too. If I move behind him, uh, and he's moving through Rapid Slash, like, I do not have invincibility for him. I cannot move past that. If I had Trickster here, I could avoid that. Give it. You're gonna... Oh. Um, I think what might be difficult is to try and get S rank, like, without cheating. I mean, I could go in with Rebellion and two swings and then follow it up with the Arbiter's Tracing, which... Okay. I mean, this is pretty obvious. If I'm getting up the help, the Double Trigger Orb, I mean, from one character, that must be the key. Double Trigger is the only thing. Actually, that's it. You get double triggered by re re uh, returning his attacks. Yeah, now the death coil animation is working for me. What? What? Fine. I'll I'll do it my way. Oh, he he's immune. Stinger. Okay, the screen just got a lot whiter. You need, to destroy his, you need to destroy his little clone, or you can't just feed him. Right, I have to lure him away from the main body. At least he has a invincibility during y uh, his Yamato strikes. He absorbed it. Is he still here? Yeah, he's still here. No, his uh, shadow's gone. He just absorbed it yeah. so he get his health back. The shadow clone is out. When you have a chance, use your double trigger to finish him off. With the. Uh, the Stinger and uh, the Tempest. Rebellion is the only thing that actually hurts him in, at the end. Oh, you gotta beat it. You gotta I have to lure him away. Oh, I'm getting rid of that phone. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it's me again. Really? Uh, dude, come on, really? I'm dying here. Dude, you're kinda kid- you're making me lose all your progress. Alright, I got it. Seriously, wait, just throw the phone away. I don't want the phone during the playthrough, that's why. Yeah, I'm not editing- I mean, like, literally- I'm not just, editing that out. Just destroy the phone, please, for me. I can't right now. I'd, I'd rather finish him off. No, I mean, you're wasting... No, I that, got it. That, Look. that phone made me have to take over and cost you health. Literally, I'm saying is that phone is a liability. Not right now, though. He's using the killer bee. At the end, when he lands, use Stinger to get to him. Where is this doppelganger? There he is. Over there. There's gonna be a weapon that kills him. Devil Trigger, you're losing health. Is it him? Yeah. The dodge buttons are kind of annoying. If I have to do it differently.
He's only as much of a threat as he can be because I am allowing him to do this. That's my problem. And damn camera! I know it's free aim, but here, it's not that useful. He's over there. I'm saying use the health item because you're about to die. Yeah. You don't have a double trigger. It's my best bet right now. Actually, that's it. You, you use a small devil trigger star. No, I'd rather burn it. Where is he? Stupid behind free you. camera! Go back to carrying that. Actually, one thing I do notice from previous games is after he completes his animation, I can strike him right there and then. 